Hello folks and welcome and thank you very much for watching. We are still on the presentations by Nana Dr. Ejekum Ado, a very successful businessman in Ghana as he talks to us about the seven principles of success and wealth creation. And these are not principles that he's just throwing out there, but these are principles, simple principles that he has lived by and which has made him the successful, one of the most successful and most respected businessmen in Ghana. He started with the principles of um, honesty and reliability, hard work, don't spend it all, and now we are on principle number four, invest it. What are we to invest and how are we to invest it? Let's go and listen to him. But before we do that, I just want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Subscription won't cost you anything, it is free. It is just so that you get instant notification of our subsequent video uploads. We have a lot of insightful and helpful videos and we want to notify you immediately we load up any video. So just click on the red subscription button below, click on the notification bell, select all and that's it. You are done. You will get instant notification of all our subsequent video uploads. So now let's go and listen to Dr. Ajekun as he tells us what to invest and how to invest it. Thank you very much. Now, Doc, to your fourth principle, invest it. Now, which will you advise? Putting all your investments in one product or putting all your eggs in one basket or diversifying your investment? Well, invest, it, invest in what you know best. Start from the known to the unknown. Start from your experiences from infancy to today than just copying other people. You may burn your fingers. So when I say invest it, and I will say that start small and start with one business and then you expand with time. My recommendation would be every three years, then you add on. Now you hear come a group of companies. I did not form all these companies in 1986. It was one shop. And by 1990, I've had about six other shops in addition, right? That's four years later. But then, as time goes with all the experiences, then you can be growing faster than before. Now, I'm comparing this with life in general. If you are starting life, it's like putting a stone in a flowing river. You see concentric circles and it goes infinity. The philosophy behind it is that from the nucleus, you go to the first concentric circle. Be with it. Have experience before you go to the second concentric circle, third, fourth, and then you can grow. If you start from the nucleus, you go to the fourth concentric circle immediately. That is forming about 10 companies at the same time. If something goes wrong, then everything crashes into the nucleus you find it very difficult to rise up. Now, if you have a small one within the first concentric circle and you fall down, getting up will be easier than going to the fourth concentric circle. Let me advise you that if you start life and start with a plasma television, $5,000 worth, and something goes wrong, I mean, compare with somebody who has started with 40 inches, it will take me about five years before it goes wrong. And if it goes wrong, the repair cost will be so small that he can easily do it the same day. And you, it will take you two weeks. Sometimes they say they have to import the part. So for nearly three months, you, you have no television. A lot of people want to start life <clears throat> and they start with Mercedes-Benz. Call it home second-hand Mercedes-Benz. Forgetting that the headlight alone is well over 2,000. So investment is something that you do with what you know best what you can do easily and start small and grow with it as the business grows well it, it looks like from the experience you're giving the experience from the entrepreneur's perspective what about the ordinary worker who is saving you know, probably invest in uh, treasury bills or buy some bonds and yeah that's what my question was is it advisable that I put the little money I have into, let's say, treasury bills alone, or I should put a little bit in treasury bills, a little bit in a 
bonds, a little bit, whatever. whatever. If you're a civil servant or monthly paid worker, then you are organizing your life according to the book. And what I mean is that you are just depend upon your savings every month. That kind of investment that you need to do would be, say, treasury bill. Because you don't want to really uh, do anything to affect your normal working habits. Again, if you want to go by my principle of investment, then you can do something that one of your relatives can take up and do on your behalf. In that case, you've got to invest it in that person. And that is when that person has proved to you to be a reliable person and hardworking person. And he also has the savings culture that you monitor. Then you, the civil servant, can do that kind of investment. You can only grow in that business after some period, according to my principle. So you can do your treasury bill savings, all right. And you can also open up a hairdresser saloon, or you can also go into restaurant business, even though you are a civil servant, even though you are a pastor, even though you are a headmaster or a politician. Do some investment and do something that you know best. You can easily monitor and can also check and you can also direct so that you don't need to really do it yourself. Somebody else will do it on your behalf. And that is the investment. It looks to me from your answers that you would prefer that if you can, invest in a business. Am I right? Yes, than in the bank. Because you get more anyway. If I invest in my business, I make more money than if I give it to the bank. And the bank will use my money also to trade to make more for themselves, not for you. For you, they have discussed with you how much they can give you anyway. 13%. After 90 days or 20 something percent after one year or 91 days or whatever. If you can do it yourself, oh, I tell you, you make more. You make more. So it's advisable to do investment yourself. And this day and age, entrepreneurial spirit should be in everybody. Everybody should be able to handle his own business life. So, right from the word go, from, especially from JSS, you should start teaching entrepreneurial skills so that you know what to do so that even if you're a civil servant you are entrepreneurial in, inclined and then you know what to do at any point in time i and dr michael Nijikum Ado, encourage you to subscribe to this youtube channel epv media youtube channel now in order to have constant access to this very revealing series from renowned entrepreneurs like me on secrets of business success. Please subscribe now.